Hi, I'm Stephen Parrison with VR Circle. I'm at CES with Dan, head of business in, of HTC in the US. So tell me a little bit about uh, new products that you've released at CES this year. So um, 2016 was a great kickoff year. 2017 mm -hmm. year is all about cementing our future and yeah. growing the ecosystem, working with a lot of other partners, peripherals, solutions, accessories. Yeah. So the first thing we did was we came out with the Vive Tracker. Mm -hmm. And this is a really simple device that actually attaches to anything. This one attaches to a wrist, uh -huh. and then you can actually track basically your whole arm just from tracking this one position on your wrist. Right. But it attaches to any any object that you could think of that you want to make a tracked object in your VR space. Okay. So a gun, a sword, a fire hose, um, a right. camera, there's any number of ways that this can be used. Yeah. And so we developed this because there's a lot of accessories, peripherals, and partners out there that want to come up with new solutions, but right. they don't really have like all the engineering skill set, time, engineering resources to go develop right. the actual inner workings of creating a tracked object. Okay. So we created something that's really easy to attach to other objects, right. and uh, it's got a six hour battery life, and you'll see right. it, we, we're using it in eight different applications here, and right. we're gonna give a thousand of them away to the developer community <laughs> this year. So that's great. it's yeah. gonna be great. So this allows you to essentially take this device, put it onto any essentially non-VR device, and make it VR. That's right. Essentially. And this just straps on? Yes. You want to put it on? Sure. <laughs> All right. It's the first time I'm doing this with somebody live. So. <laughs> yep. So essentially, now we can actually track your wrist. And this can attach mm -hmm. to a glove. And actually, you can have now your hand and your finger input right. all throughout. So it's really quite simple. So we can do a okay. lot of different applications for it. We're right. just scratching the surface of what it can be used for. So okay. we're seeing really positive adoption for it and really positive yeah. feedback that people want okay. to do this. Right. So, the so, how, so how does this hook up to uh, the existing devices? So if I buy this, how do I set this up? Oh, so it, well, from a developer standpoint, they'll be able to track it just like a controller. Uh -huh. So it'll be a third tracked item. Okay. And so it uses the same technology as our controllers and our headset. So right. it uses Steam VR tracking. Yep. And so it's all the same principles. It's all the mm -hmm. same methods. So right. it's pretty simple for the developers right. to start adopting it. Okay. So it yep. should be pretty much almost plug and play for them. Pretty much. Right. Yes. Very very nice. Yep. Here I'll take it off for you. See so you off the. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we uh, so we also announced um, a uh, a new headset uh, head strap band. It's a deluxe audio head strap band, uh -huh. and it was really just about creating something that was an additional peripheral that is uh, it's convenient and it's comfortable, and it has a really simple dial in the back to be able to tighten it because we all have different human geometry, right, right. and we wanted something that people could just easily seat on their head mm -hmm. or hot swap from one player to the other okay. and be able to adjust very quickly and easily. Right. And it has really nice embedded audio that you can just adjust to your ears. Okay. It's really about making it easier and convenient for people to put the headset on and right. adjust it. So yeah. it's a it's a great it's a great uh, it's a great product. I'm really proud of it yeah. and I think people will really enjoy right. it. Right. So now you've essentially got the HTC Vive with integrated audio into the headset, which of course is what your competition Oculus have. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think everybody should have it. Yeah. I, I think when you when you have to uh, put a headset on and then find your audio and put it on, mm -hmm. you know, that's how we initially launched, and we wanted to make sure that when we put out a, a hardened strap and a and a uh, embedded audio, we right. put out the right solution. We just didn't want to rush that. Right. So this is when it was ready, and uh, this is the right time to introduce it to everybody. That's right. So uh, and I think it'll be a great adoption for people. It'll be a great option. But the other reason we didn't do it right away at the very beginning was there's a lot of people that. We know, we've made phones for many, many years, and we know how yeah. particular people are about their audio. Right. Some people want to just choose what they want to have. Mm -hmm. um, so in those initial days, we wanted to make sure that we gave people choice, mm -hmm. and then we can introduce an option later that people want. Okay. If they want to have that embedded audio, they can have it. If right. they don't want it, if they want to have their own thing, they can have that too. And when will that uh, additional addition for the head strap be The head strap will be available and the tracker for consumers mm -hmm. will both be available in Q2 and we'll give out pricing and, and more detailed dates on okay. uh, availability of both of them as we get closer to launch. And will pre-orders be available for that too? Pre-orders, actually, uh, we haven't decided whether or not we're going to do pre-orders if we'll just channel range them, so we're still okay. working on that. Right. Um, but that'll be more to come, more details to come on that. Um, okay. The other option, the other thing that we actually did announce here was the uh, TV cast and the wireless. Mm -hmm. And uh, you brought it, uh, when you yeah. brought up pre-order, <laughs> I was like, oh, but they are doing pre-order. <laughs> So, uh, okay. but yeah, so we have a wireless partner that uh -huh. we're showing off here at CES, um, TPCast. TPCast. Yeah, okay. they have a uh, an uncompromising wireless solution that is great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people are really starting to enjoy it, uh, test a lot of different experiences with it okay. here, and um, 
you know, it just gives you that sense of freedom. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind the cable because, you mm -hmm. know, that really does, that 3-in-1 cable gives you that best performance, that best right. throughput, that best visual experience and yeah. really ensures that fidelity contract, you know, between the developer and the content right. and the consumer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this wireless solution is really, really, it's, I'm pretty surprised and I'm really happy about how great it's working and the performance yeah. that it has. Yeah, it's come a long way in just a year from Holy tethered cow. HDMI and USB to a realistic wireless yeah. HDMI solution. I did not think it was going to happen this fast. <laughs> Me it either. So it, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised and it's great to have partners like TPCast yeah. here. So is that a device that attaches to your waist or, or the back of the headset? Because so I've seen multiple solutions. It would be great to have somebody from the TPCast take you through it, uh, yeah. but it's essentially... Um, um, a battery pack, an emitter that connects to the wireless, and uh, it handles all the transmission back and forth. And there's okay. a, a part that actually sits in your pocket and you know comes down okay. from there. Okay. So it's it's very convenient, it's very easy, it's very comfortable. I've actually yeah. worn it a couple times, and <laughs> it's uh, you don't even notice it. Yeah, it's going to be invisible. It's behind your back. That's right. You're not going to feel it. And, and do, you, do, you, do you recall what the battery life on that device is? It's about two hours. It's about a 6,000 milliamp battery for uh, about a two-hour usage time. So I, I see you're showing lots of software here at CES. That's right. And it seems to be HTC and other manufacturers are focusing more on software. The hardware is out. Let's get some great software out. So what are you showing here for software? So, you know, it's, you know, 2016 was really a great kickoff. Mm -hmm. And the way that we approach the developer community and developers, you know, we have over a thousand pieces of content available for the Vive today. Yeah. And, you know, the majority of them are games, incredible games, incredible experiences. What we wanted to show really about going into 17 was growing our ecosystem. Yeah. And it's not always about just up-revving hardware and up-revving screens and resolutions, because that actually closes the ecosystem down, makes it, doesn't broaden it too quickly. So this year, right. very targeted at broadening what we think VR will be used for in 2017. Okay. So in the booth, we actually focused on showing a lot of entertainment mm -hmm. uh, experiences, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, enterprise solutions, yeah. um, such as you know firefighting, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we also um, you know we have a lot of. Um, educational experiences, mm -hmm. um, right. UVR, where you actually go in and you'll learn, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to have a stint put in, like, what mm -hmm. is that procedure going to look like? How is right. that going to work? And why should I not be afraid of it? <laughs> right, yeah. So it's more for consumers. That's and then right. we actually have other surgeon uh, simulator uh, uh, from Oso VR. Uh, we have surgeon prep. Uh, solutions here. Okay. Um, we have uh, boxing and entertainment, a lot of first-person shooters. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, baseball. We have uh, the baseball bat from Trinity VR. It's actually made for professional baseball players. It's not a lot. Of, I've seen a, a lot of blogs and people are talking about, I can't swing this in my living room. We, we, we don't expect you to. I don't think Trinity VR expects yeah. you to swing this in your living room either. Um, it could be very dangerous. Yeah, uh, it could yeah. be. Yeah, it's bad enough yeah. with the, the swords in the home. I've seen a couple lamps just launch out. Uh, but yeah. in general, though, like that was made, it, that's made for professional baseball players, right. like to actually learn and train on an actual pitcher mm -hmm. and his pitches. Yeah. And that's I went up against a couple of pro pitchers and I was fouling the ball all over the place. I finally <laughs> had to lay down a bunt to yeah. get it in play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in general, though, there's yeah. we wanted to show a variety of different experiences mm -hmm. that. Yeah everybody can really get an understanding and appreciation that the ecosystem is not just for games. Mm -hmm. And that's not putting down games at all because right. they're leading the innovation and they're teaching the non-game space how to actually do this. Yeah. It's just now we want to show everybody in the wider audience you know, that, hey, there's a lot more going on here right. with VR than just you know, playing games. Oh yeah, I mean, I saw Dr. Raw is talking about some medical software over there. Early. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's great to have him in and, yeah. and talking about the solutions and right. uh, it's great to have people that really see the application for it um, you know this flame trainer I was in here yesterday and here you have a jacket that actually heats up as you get closer to fire oh, really and as you as the smoke builds in your room that mm -hmm. you're trying to uh, take the fire down mm -hmm. you just your of your body automatically comes down because you're, you need to see and the visibility becomes yeah. uh, restrictive you know as you're if you stay up higher and people have actually talked about, you know, just how your brain fills in the brain, the, the blanks. It really feels like you're there. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, wait a minute, I'm. It's harder to breathe for some reason. And you're <laughs> like, I'm not sure why, but um, but then you have yeah. haptics in this hose that uh -huh. it will actually pull you backwards. So it gives you that back pressure. That oh yeah, you feel and uh, it's very authentic feeling. <laughs> so it's uh, pretty yeah. incredible. That's great. So I think it's great the number of partners that we have here mm -hmm. and. and different experiences that we're showing. Right. So really appreciative of our developer partners. That's great. Very impressive. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye.